Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be tinkering with a new laser assembly that I purchased. This is a 5 watt optical output power Sculpt Fun S9 laser head. These can be purchased through Banggood and they come with absolutely no documentation. To add to the confusion I use a USB CNC breakout or control board for my CNC. Sadly there is very little information on that card either. Now you throw the software which is Mach 3 from Artsoft and how do you make everything work together? So that's what I'm working on today. If you think that's interesting, then follow me along as I try to figure out all the information that is missing and put it all together. Here we go. If you're not familiar with these components, it may be useful to describe what they do and how they interact. In my case, I'm using a CNC or Computer Numerical Control Router. This is a machine that is controlled by a computer. The computer is connected to a USB CNC control card. This card interfaces to switches and motors on the actual router machine. Primarily I use a router or a spindle to cut wood, but in this case we're going to be attaching the Sculptfun S9 laser head for engraving and hopefully some cutting. If you're using a spindle or a router, you have to be concerned about chip load. This means you may have to change the speed of the cutter. Typical router speeds would be anywhere from 5000 to 20,000 RPM. Now when we're talking laser, you need to change the intensity or the power of the laser beam. This is accomplished using pulse width modulation or PWM. PWM is a way to control analog devices with a digital output. The way PWM works is that the DC power supply is switched on and off to the device being powered. So if the power is on for say one half of the period and off for the other half, then you have 50% power or 50% of the intensity. Likewise, if it's on for 90% and off for 10% of the time, you're going to get 90% of the power output. Conversely, if you only turn it on for about 10% and off for 90%, you'll only have 10% of the output power. It's a generalization, but it's a simple way to understand how it works. So you vary the pulse width to vary the intensity or the power going to the device. If you're trying to replicate this project, then you may want to pause the video that's about to come up. I've made a simple sketch showing how to interconnect the RNR motion controller board to your different power supplies. You can kind of visualize it as being a potentiometer from plus 12 volts to PWM out and to ground. Here you can see when I adjust the spindle speed control in Mach 3, the actual pulse width modulation output is on my scope. Increasing the spindle speed control increases the pulse width, which will increase the brightness of the laser. Once I've brought it up to full power, you can see that if I reduce that control, it reduces the pulse width, which will in turn reduce the brightness of the laser. There are a few things that we have to set up within Mach 3. Clicking on Config and then Ports and Pin, then Spindle Setup will show you how to set up the spindle, or in our case, the laser. Clicking on Motor Outputs will allow us to configure the spindle control. In this case, I'm using Output 3 to control the spindle relay on and off, so that will turn the power on and off to the laser. Finally, clicking on Plug-in Control and selecting r, &R Motion, will give us this screen. Under spindle we need to enable the multi-step speed and set up the calibration. Click save and we're done. Well that pretty well wraps up the setup. Once I get the wiring set up in the CNC machine I will create a video so you can see it in action. Shout out to Murray who gave me the three pin connector for the S9 laser module. It doesn't come with the module itself. The module is wired up with pulse width modulation as the first pin, ground is the middle one, and VCC or 12 volts is on the right hand side. Here somebody spotted the fact that I'm not using 10 volts on the 10 volt input pin. 10 volt input pin is a reference voltage for the AVI or pulse width modulated out. I experimented with the 12 volts to see if it was possible because that will give you full power on your laser. It seems to work fine so that's what I'm doing. I'm putting 12 volts into the 10 volt input. That creates a pulse width modulation on AVI for your laser brightness control. 
I could not find the documentation to show how to properly connect up the 12 volts. I found that if you connect up 12 volt ground to ACM and 12 volt positive to the 10 volt input, it, wor it works fine. Remember to hook up your 24 volts to 24 volt pin and the 24 volt ground to DCM. So it looks like the RNR motion controller card. I think it's a BSM CE04U-PP USB CNC card. Looks like it'll work for a laser. Thanks for watching. If you thought this was of value, please click subscribe. Maybe give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you have questions. Thank you.